well how's it going folks welcome back to another video uh we're out, we're out here uh you know tracking deer a little bit getting some short done and obviously they're about the truck so that's good to know but ooh, it's a little chillier than i thought today is what day is it january 17th i believe yes yeah, 17th so deer season here in missouri ended two days ago so oh, sad day but it's over now so but doing some chores out here actually get, putting some trophy rocks out keys trophy rocks out today which is like a uh, a mineral supplement for deer because winter's getting it's getting pretty cold right now and they got to have those minerals because they've been rutting hard so put some minerals out for them so hopefully they can replenish some of those and also actually i made my last video about this but a shed trap which is where we put this fencing stuff and then some corn underneath it so when bucks eat the corn hopefully their antlers fall off but gotta go put corn under one of these shed traps right now and what else we got to do put a trophy rock out and pull some cameras so yeah it is just pretty much a chores vlog but follow along it's a little colder than i thought <laughs> but so yeah, it's still on the ground so hopefully we can see some tracks or something i don't know but yeah see how it goes all right folks first spot here um hard to describe there's a little pond right there it's basically just a big clearing there's bedding that way and a lot of bedding that way so it's just a little clearing we have here sitting out here a little clearing right here and it stands over there on one of those trees so there's a, a four-wheel path right over there so just a really big um pinch point but first trophy rock um i had one here last summer i think put it on this log so hopefully um now there is some kind of like a compound effect like the trophy rock melts into the ground and then the ground has nutrients so hopefully the deer nice hopefully the deer use this for a while Here. I just need to shove my knife a little bit. Oh gosh, that knife just disappeared. Snow. Right. Oh, hands are cold now. There we go. That's all there is to it. So the deer will find it eventually and they'll start. Once they find it, it's pretty good. They know it's there and then it'll. If it rains, it'll kind of melt in the ground. And they'll like this ground for a while. So, yeah, first spot, good. All right, folks, also set up a uh, little camera I have here just pointing toward the uh, no trophy rock. Kind of gives you a better uh, view of the area here. So, it's just this open clearing. But there's super thick stuff over there that they walk through. And super thick stuff over there they walk through. So, it's really just a, a really good pinch point. My stand, well, you can kind of see it there. It's a uh, climber stand. Metal is right there. So... That's where my tree is, and I can hunt that. There's a four wheel off path right there. So this is just a good pinch point that I think bucks walk through. So hopefully get them the nutrients then eat through that. All right, now we gotta go bait one of those shed traps. All right, folks, second spot here. Um, this one's, this one was built a while ago. It's not as big as fencing, but pretty tiny. But there's a big creek bottom right here, and I think that's where they come up out of the creek bottom. I'm not sure where they do, but they come from this hillside over to this hillside. So, um, yeah, this isn't my dad built this, so I'll right, see how this one works. I don't know, but dump some corn here. Another plus side had dumping it down here is I dumped some weight off Karen all the way back up the hill. All right, that should be good. So what I did is I dumped about half of it on this side and half of it on this side. So once they get done with eating it on this side, they have to try and stick their nose through, which will get their antlers caught. So yeah. I don't want to say three quarters on this side. Just a quarter on this side. Yeah. All right. So that's our shed catch number one for this spot. Let's go and uh, build the next one. We have to build the next one. The next one's not already up. 
Oh, all right, folks, we're at the uh, next spot here. So uh, I'm gonna make the truck and got this fencing wire. Ugh. That guy. I found the place where I'm gonna hang it. So I'm on a four wheel path right now. It's just eaten up with tracks. I mean, absolutely covered. I'll show you here in a second, but. And sorry, <laughs> that was a big hill in the snow. Anyways, um, there's some words here. Yeah, so there's a four-wheel path, and there's I can see a bunch of paths just intersecting from the woods. And then there's a road that crossed right over there. And there's a big cornfield right there. And it's the only food source in the area, so we know that's where they're going. But they have a couple of different ways to get there. So last year we had pictures of massive deer. I'm not joking, like probably 150s. Maybe, yeah, 150s is about right. But using this all at night, like every night, big deer using this. So found kind of a, a good path here, I think, and I'm gonna hang up this and throw some corn on it. I mean, just covered in tracks here, and here's where, here's a little trail you can see, but I mean, just absolutely covered. So there's the, where the path goes. And the cornfield is that way. So they have to go through all the thick stuff to get there. And there's a couple ways we know that they do it. So here's one where they come in. So I'm gonna hang it between this tree and that piece of honeysuckle. All right, folks, bear with me here. I know it's a weird camera angle, but I'm by myself and it kind of requires three hands to do this job, you know, so. Oh gosh, that snow is wet. Okay, so I'm just clearing a spot here. Like I said, I'm going between, going between this tree and this piece of honeysuckle. Knowing as it is, it does make a good spot to zip tie it to. Break all this stuff down. There's my fence in there it is. This stuff's probably hard to see in the camera, so <laughs> just use your imagination if you can't see it. But spreading between this guy. Ooh, barely fits. That tree like so, and then we get the zip ties out. Where are the zip ties? There they are. I had to go back to the truck to get these guys. Got to see here. Oh, maybe a little more that way. Okay. Oh gosh, I hope these fit around the tree. Look at that, they don't fit around the tree. Okay, so that's neat. Um, not about that. Gonna, oh, I got it. I can put two zip ties together. There we go. Use that brain of mine. It seems non-existent sometimes. Oh, come on. What you do here is you put it like that. Now you got to zip tie this double the length. Lucky there. All right, there we go. That's the first one. You only got to use double the amount of zip ties, which is fine. It just takes, ah, it takes a little longer. Got another two here. Actually, let's go on this side first so that I even it out. Okay, there it is. Wow, that was a lot of work for one zip tie. <laughs> Go over here again. Oh, these two zip ties don't fit together. Wow, I am having a go of it today. Okay, see how these two are different? They don't, uh, they fit together on this end, but not that end. Perfect. You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay, I'll bring you guys over here so you can see this side better. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's see if we can get a zip tie that actually works. Wow, that was good. That was nice. Didn't work. Okay, there we go. Oh, are you kidding me? He doesn't want to fit around the tree. Oh, gosh. I'm having a go of it with the zip ties today, guys. Oh, there it is. Okay. 
pretty close. Would have liked it to be a little bit more straight. I don't know, but that works okay. Um, okay, I'll do a couple more. I think this side's okay. I'll do one in the middle here, and then one more over there, and I should be good. There it is. That's better. Oh my gosh, I apologize for that, folks. That's probably the longest sequence of zip ties you've ever seen in your life. How long was that? Eight minutes of zip ties. That's pretty bad. All right, so now I'm going to dump the corn here, and then I'm going to put the trophy rock out pretty close by. And we should be good to go. Like I said in the last one, it's important to put half on both sides. So I guess on this one, they could access it from that side. But um, it's important because in order to get the antlers stuck, if they eat the corn out here, the antlers won't touch it. So you gotta get, get them one to get corn on that side to get it cut off in here. All right, folks, that I'll do about do it. I got the uh, camera set out, got the shed trap set out, got the trophy rock set out. Hopefully that's a deadly combo to get not only some sheds, but also just some like recall on bucks, kinda. We didn't really run that many cameras this year on this property that we hunt, so um, yeah, hopefully we can just kinda see what's around and plan for next season, but I'm excited, folks, this is good. I didn't really, what, what ended up happening was last day deer season was Saturday night, we ended up going goose hunting instead. It was like 20 mile an hour wind. That didn't sound fun, but excited for next year. I'm excited for next year's season. So I appreciate the uh, the view. Hopefully this is kind of different little vlog style action, but appreciate the view, y'all. See y'all on the, why did I say y'all? That was weird. Not from Texas, but catch y'all on the next one. Appreciate it.